Thank you for joining us. Rod has the night off. Congress is divided over spending bills as a shutdown of the federal government looms. Senator Pete Ricketts gave his take today. Channel 8's Annie Elming joins us live in studio with more on that. Annie? Three days before the potential shutdown, Senator Pete Ricketts shares his thoughts on the current state of Congress and what needs to be done to avoid the shutdown. Senator Ricketts said today that it is important for Congress to control its spending. Reckless big government spending has left us a national debt of over $33 trillion. $33 trillion. He says that this debt has consequences, including higher consumer costs and interest rates. He said that inflation caused by debt is detrimental to American families. With stubbornly high inflation, families across the country, including those on fixed incomes, are tightening their belts to stretch their budgets. Congress has a duty to do the same. The senator reflected on his time as governor of Nebraska and said the federal government should follow his example. During my time as governor, we kept the size and scope of government small. As the government's deadline nears, he said Congress needs to fund essential services. What we don't need to do is keep throwing money around on partisan causes or unnecessary and wasteful spending. He said conversations about spending should have happened months ago. Ricketts blamed Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer for not bringing to the floor 12 spending bills that the committee approved in the summer. The Republican-controlled House of Representatives has yet to pass necessary legislation that will survive the Democrat-controlled Senate. Representative Mike Flood said Speaker Kevin McCarthy is working to get Republicans together. He said in a statement to Channel 8, quote, I oppose shutting down the government and want to avoid it at all costs. A potential shutdown could impact millions of federal workers, including the Transportation and Security Administration agents keeping air travel safe. Annie, thank you very much for our top story tonight.